morning guys welcome to Sunday today is Sunday and Brooklyn and Jacob have gone home Brooklyn and Jacob have gone home but now <laughs> it took him a while but he said not now right he's yeah. half asleep Are, did you get enough sleep last night yeah yeah so we slept in the tent last night and it was much better however Miss Molly the, the border collie is not a good dog to sleep with Come on over here, Jacob. Nana has to put sunscreen on you. Oh. Yeah, sunscreen. Oh. So uh, Brooklyn just arrived, and she'd be wearing a Day by Day Vlogs merch shirt. Super cute. Do you like it? I also have Sophie, who is also just had a bath. Everybody's had a bath. We're all clean. We're all exhausted. It's been a long weekend at Grandma's house, at Nana's house. Jacob, don't do that. I didn't have a bath. But we, yeah, Jacob did not have a bath. We're gonna go out there now and live life to the fullest because the kids actually are going home today and we're gonna do it. Let's go, let's have fun. And this, my friends, is why our horses go lame. Probably missed it now. They've been running around like lunatics for 15 minutes because Chino left the field. Yeah, look, Storm already looks sore. Does he look sore, Sophie? No, he's just telling Ben off and throwing his head. They've been running and running and running because Chino left. Chino's not even in the same field, but they're mad. You're what? I'm gonna cut Chino's nose there. Oh, Chino. Too long. He needs it like that short for oh, showing. Oh, he's got a little cut there. Mm -hmm. He needs it that short for showing. Well, don't cut it that short. I know, I'm cutting it this short. Our horse is an inch ever. off. All right. So that's just too long. All right. So what I like about this barn is that when you go out this door, it's a horseback riding. When you go out this door, it's the pool. So let's, there's let's, two sides. Let's put this bigger on today. Yeah, we got it so that you guys could play with it. Let's you want to use it? Let's put this bigger on today. Oh, okay. I think we should. In the boys' field. Not in the boys' field. Otherwise, we'd be running through horse poop. Yeah. And, and the boys would say, the boys and, the, and the boys would run away. Just think, is this a unicorn? Do unicorns fight horses? Do you think unicorns fight horses? No. No, unicorns like a horse with a horn on and, its head. And they, they kiss them. Mm-hmm. Unicorns kiss horses. Because, because, because the horses are dads, ponies, oh, they, these are moms. Yeah. Like, they can't marry it, they have a baby. Yeah. Did, did a hard, hard, uh, this farm had a baby? No, this farm did not have a baby yet. Thank the Lord, because baby unicorns and horses would be a lot for this farm to handle. So you guys, there you have it. A lesson on the birds and the bees by four-year-old Jacob. Horses marry unicorns, and then they have babies. And horses and unicorns kiss, they don't fight. So he thinks that our horses are not going to be afraid of this gigantic unicorn. What do you guys think? You think our horses are not going to be scared of this gigantic unicorn? Yeah. All right, we'll see. Bring a horse in this little tiny room? Yeah. We could bring Willow in here. She'd probably come. Willow. And Gracie likes it in here. They've come in here before. Look at them, messy. And, and they made a messy chip. Look at it's been like a few days since Sophie rode and all her stuff is in the middle of the floor. Okay, so at Nana's house, when you go to Nana's house, you expect to have an experience. You expect to not be sitting watching your phone. You expect not to be sitting watching TV. So today is the last day of the Nana experience. And it's a good thing because this Nana is tired of experiencing. So first of all, okay, watch out, Jacob. Back up. Has Brooklyn push, pushing the door? I'm going. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Do it the way you think. I think it's upside down. Let's turn it this way. I don't know. I kind of feel like. I'm a farmer in, in my, in my service. How come I feel like your idea of farmer and my idea of farmer are totally different, Jacob? There you go. Now come around this side and I'll show you where to clip it. Let me go in first if she's going in cross eyes. She's going in cross eyes. Okay, so grab the, call, the thing over here. Come over here. Look at how patient your pony is waiting for you. You clip it right here. She's like, okay, I waited long enough. All right, so now you're gonna take her for a walk around the arena. Don't step on Jacob. And hold your lead right Hold it right up close to her. Remember, that's a girl. Don't let her step on your feet. Sorry, Gracie, you gotta walk out for a minute. Watch out, Jacob. Pick up the rope off the ground, my love, so it's not dragging. But look at how good she's doing that. What? 
think it's gonna be. Place your bets now. Okay, Kaylee texted Gabby. I think it's okay, bring her come in. over. Do you wanna come over? Or do you have any plans today? Well, I'll tell her we have grandkids over. She, she probably that. wants you to come riding on her property with her. That's my guess. All right, bring her in. Jacob, get the fork, the poop picking fork. Right here. Come here, Nana, find it for you. I, I, no, I'm so nice. Thank you to Equizen and Ryder Richardson who sent us hats. They saved my grandkids this weekend of a excruciating son. She's like, oh my God, it's Chino. Okay. Oh yeah, this is gonna be trouble. We got one pony, two pony, three ponies. So, let's try, and maybe she, Gracie should get a trim. Gracie does an ant on her house, that's talent. Like, I love Gracie's mane, but it's getting a bit long. I mean, I think she looks gorgeous though. Thick. But then, it's thick. when you're on top of her. Watch out, Jacob. Don't when stand by the horses. And you see her neck? Come look at this. Okay, look. So, you see her neck, and then now you see her neck, and it's so small and skinny. Yeah. So somebody said that her, oh my gosh, back up. Very well, and there's a broom there too. Okay, so move the broom, my friend. Move the broom, break up so the pony doesn't step on it and go lame. What does lame mean? Remember, we talked about it yesterday. It means not being perfect, but in horses, it means they have sore feet. All right. Someone said that Gracie's dorsal stripe does not go down into her tail, but I don't know. I think it does. Doesn't it? It does. Mm -hmm. It goes from here. I think if you look all, right yeah, but I think if you, I mean, it stops right there. All right. So the plan today over, is to what? <laughs> She's like, I'm going crazy. Jacob, stop playing with the door. <laughs> I know, it goes all the way it down. It go all the way down. Because you can't, I mean, it doesn't show up like that in a, mm -hmm. in, a, in fur, in hair, but you can almost see it. Okay, see how she's moving around like that? Mm -hmm. She's not standing very well in the cross ties, and she, Ruby's like, what the heck is this horse doing? She's moving. She's being a brat. She's saying, I'm tired of standing here. Do something to me. So you know what the cure for that is? What? Just leave her there for a really long time until she's like, finally says, fine. But we're gonna get her ready because Brooklyn and Jacob are gonna have a little ride. Are you riding her, Jacob? What? Are you riding her? Yep. Okay, so the old ones. I don't know. Use the new ones. So um, we bought a, we ordered a stud. Where's the kit? We ordered a stud kit. Okay, so these are the ones that we used last time. And it hasn't come yet, obviously, because now Where's that the COVID. Tool that he left um, I don't know. And the cotton balls. There, it must all be together wherever you found that. All right. Um, I brought this down from the kitchen. It's like a baby nipple brush cleaner or a straw cleaner. Um, I thought maybe it would be helpful to get the cotton and the dirt out of Chino's uh, hoofs, the holes. Yeah. So it's early. Clearly, Gabby's going to try and ride Chino a little, but not too much because it's like... We're riding Western. You're riding Western. What did Kaylee want? She just texted me. Um... Do you have any plans no. today? And I'm like, you don't. And she's like, okay, never mind. Oh, you could have said no. You could have went places with her. Did you use a curry comb first? No. Let's get a curry comb. So Gracie's feeling a little fresh. I've never seen her this fresh in a long time. I think she thinks she's going out to eat grass, or I think she thinks she's going over there to meet Mr. Bubba Boy. You know a Bubba Boy? No, you know, she's like, wow, look at that handsome man. He's so handsome. She's shaking her head. Yes, he's so handsome. And he's giving her the, the awe. He's like, hey, pretty girl. He's watching her thinking I'd be in big trouble if I acted like her. I think she's just mostly showing off. I feel like Chino doesn't like bad girls. Do you like nice boys or bad boys? Good. Do you like good boys? So do you like bad boys or good boys? She hasn't decided yet. Do you like good boys or bad boys, Gabby? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's always the opposite of what you are. So like, I like good boys. I feel like Gabby will like she good boys. He's a bad boy because he kind of um, 
too fat. Yeah, but no, Chino's a good boy. I think Brooklyn's gonna like bad boys. You need to help my horse. I have to help this horse. You you to listen, dude, do, do not chew our stuff. We it's need illegal. To we need help with her. Gabby's still working on getting the dirt out of Chino's. So what I was saying was we bought a kit, we ordered it, it's coming. You just have to wait for delivery. So I don't know. I don't know why she's all stressed out because she's usually a really good pony. So we'll have to take her for a walk first to make sure she gets out all of her oh, energy. We did this thing here. Yeah. They all respect Gabby so much more. Sometimes horses are naughty. Ponies are the naughtiest. Ponies are Because they're little. And they think they can get away with everything. Apparently, chestnut mares are worse. Even though. Brooklyn, your pony pooped. Get her a fork. Get her a pitchfork. She's like, I'm not cleaning up. You have to. If you want to ride the pony, you have to take care of the pony. Show her how. Have you ever cleaned poop before? I think this is how we all feel after a long weekend. We just want to lay down on the hard, cold floor. We're going to have to walk her. How are we going to get her out of here? Arena. Okay. Hold on. Good girl. Make her listen to you, Brooklyn. How do I do that? You say, whoa, and you make her stop and let her be behind you. She's good when she's, she just doesn't like to be tied. Gabby made me put the saddle on myself. Makes me a bit nervous. So, Sophie is opening this gate here and we're going to go out here, Brooklyn. Don't take her near the white rock, the white w rope. Don't take her near the rope. T go in a circle again. Or, yep. Yeah. Watch your feet. Hold on here. <laughs> Watch out there. Okay. Gracie, let the little girl lead you. Go. That's a girl. You'd be like, don't you go where you want to go, Gracie. You go where I want to go. That's a girl. Nana is the worst person to be teaching horses. Gabby's busy. Watch your feet. Good job. You've got control over her. I don't think the saddle's tight enough. We have to fix that. Oh, she's trying to push you. You push her. Walk her in a circle. That's it. If she doesn't go, you walk her in a circle till she has to go your way. All right, pull her in there. I'm going to do up the gate. Yeah, you got it. There. So Sophie will walk you. So we had a little bit of a fear problem there because I'm not that good at. So we had to just say, jump on and we'll get past it. You feeling braver yet? So this is her first confidence thing where she kind of was like, mm, I don't think I want to. I'm not going to lie, it's really hard when you're dealing with like Gabby needing help with her horse, Sophie needing help with her horse, Jacob who's like, I don't really want a horse, Brooklyn, and they're all tired, maybe we should have ate more. Give her a pat, Brooklyn, and tell her good girl, because she's finally listening to us. I mean, I don't fault her for being nervous, horses are hard, so what happened was she tried to get on a couple of times and I was holding her. and. Obviously, I can't hold the horse. There you go. You ready to try a little bit of trotting? All right. Took Brooklyn for a trail ride. She's feeling really tired and grouchy. You know the drill. That's what happens when you go to Nana's house and you do too much stuff with less sleep. So Gabby's gonna ride Tino for a little bit. You guys know that he has some bruising on his feet. They've been for like three weeks, maybe almost four. And so Gabby chose to ride Western today. So they're just doing a little bit of walk, trot, a little bit of flatting, that's it, just to keep them, him in shape while he finishes his little tiny bit of healing he has left to do. Mm -hmm. Right? At least that's what Brandon told us to do. So I'm not sure Gabby can actually do anything in this saddle because the stirrups are too long. And I don't know why, I think that saddle's made for a man, but you can't adjust the stirrup lengths, can you? I can't because we're on the top 
Yeah, they're on the top hole. Do you want me to poke more holes? Would that work? No, that won't work. Why? I did on Gracie's. Gracie's is different. And there's no knee rolls. I think that means you're supposed to make muscles. No, it's teaching me to hold on with my knees. So you know oh. What to do. Oh. So anyway, she's riding Western in her trail saddle. So she's just taking them for a little walk around. Is that what you're doing? Just taking them for a little walk around? Get a little trot. Taking a shot what you got we're going all the way to the top we will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage we'll play loud surfing the crowd so gabby's just going to take him she brought him a little bit she doesn't want to overdo him but also it's really hot and she's in a bad saddle today's just been a disastrous day all around grouchy children tired children She's gonna take him on a little trail around the property. It's nice and soft. Nice and soft, fluffy grass. Been around. Yeah, that's the place where I wanna be. Going on stage headline on a Saturday night. Oh, 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 Saturday night. Oh, oh, oh. Look how big Molly's getting. Like she's still young, but she's getting that big girl body on her. She's getting long and lean. She's losing all that puppy energy. I'm gonna quit my job. Never wanna have no boss. I just wanna play my rock and roll like they do on the radio. Tommy's got brand new drums. And I still have my old guitar. And John said this next song's gonna be real good. So we are at Dairy Queen, you know? How every time you go to Dairy Queen, you always see like the grandparents with the grandkids at Dairy Queen, and you oh. always think like, oh, grandparents are so nice. They take their kids, grandkids to get ice cream. Yeah, it's not that. It's to calm them down. It's to take them in the car and let everybody chill out and relax. It's to let them rest. It's to contain the energy until the parents come to pick them up. <laughs> so that's what we are doing. We are here to contain the energy and feed them junk before we send them home. All right, let's tell everybody, what are you getting, Brooklyn? Um, I'm getting a vanilla ice cream with chocolate on top. A dipped cone. Is it the first time you ever had it? I think so. Brooke, Jacob, what are you having? Ice cream places. I I can't see my. I'm having. I can't see my. I'm not placing up. He doesn't know what he's having because he can't see it yet. So. Yeah, I should go to the place in Toronto. What? Yeah, he's having cotton candy. So we'll show you as we get them. Everybody got one except for Sam. Sam's a stick in the mud. Sam never gets ice cream. Ice cream is my life. Ice cream is threatening. That yeah. Is <laughs> yeah, it's that too. Sam didn't get ice cream. No, no, did not get an ice cream. Get ready, we're gonna get them. This says I'm beautiful. You are beautiful. You are beautiful too. Is this the first time you ever had this, Jacob? Get ready for your dipped cone. We had a big long swim and then when it got to the point where everybody was just exhausted, everybody's tired, we're like, get in the car, let's go for ice cream. See them coming. Okay, here they come. Anything good is worth waiting for. And the turtles. Okay, I didn't get the other ones yet. We didn't get any. You didn't? Oh. No, thank you. Holy heck, that looks so good. Chocolate extremes, go, chocolate brownie extremes. Gabby. Gabby and Sophie. Get ready to pass them down. Mm. I love nuts, I love ice cream, and I love chocolate. Here's chocolate cone. There's a chocolate cone. Cotton candy cone. Oh, they're huge. Before. I've got these before. I got okay, what Jacob thanks. had. Great, thank you. You got that one before? Yes, I got what Jacob had. All right. Was it Fine good? Candy. Yeah. Fiona. What? I, I don't want the blue part. I don't want the blue part. But that's the cotton candy. That's the cotton candy. Eat it. I don't like the blue part. Just Try it. it. Jacob doesn't like the blue part. It's good, Jacob. You know what it means. Around and around the world we'll go. Hooding on the grid. Don't you know that you're beautiful?